Thank you for agreeing to do this interview as a part of my history class at Sacramento City College. Um, as part of this class, we are acting as working historians by doing this interview. Our goal is to create a record of the COVID era because we know this will be seen as a historic moment in the future. And I have a few questions for you if you would like to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Michaela. I'm a student at Sac State and currently staying for LSAT, so hopefully law school in the fall. All right. Are you ready to start? Yep. Did you experience a transition from in-person to online um, learning during COVID? Yes, I did. Um, I think it didn't affect me as much as like other students. I actually adapted it to it pretty well, considering that I can just kind of roll out of bed and then start my classes and have like a better, tighter schedule just because I didn't have to like drive to campus and like wait around for a few hours. So it ended up being a lot smoother. However, now thinking about it, it is nice to have that like interaction, like with an instructor and kind of having that face-to-face -face and having like an ability to talk to them instead of waiting around online for office hours. So I think it comes with like some positives and negatives, but overall I would say it was a negative or a positive um, experience. Um, how did going through COVID change your routine on a daily basis? Um, I, before COVID I was working full-time at a bar, so it was a lot of like long hours, a lot of late night shifts, and trying to combine that with school. So since obviously the bars shut down and I was able to focus more on school and kind of more personal stuff and getting my life kind of in order, um, it affected it positively, which I know is a very privileged place to kind of be at, but I think it was put a lot more in focus of like what I actually want to do. Okay. Um, did COVID change the way you connect with friends, family, classmates, and um, your community? I, yeah, I think it changed how I kind of viewed some people because I know like a lot of my friends didn't take it as seriously as I would have wanted to. And especially like in the first year and a half, because obviously we're still in COVID, um, I saw a lot of people kind of behaving rec recklessly. So my perspective of some people kind of shifted of, priorities and more like if my morals were in line with them so I ended up cutting out a lot of people that prior to that I would have never considered it okay um, what role did social media and the news play <clears throat> in your experience during COVID um it I would say it played a significant role at first um, particularly social media just because it was the only way that kind of to stay connected with people um, I also think that, it, as with anything, it had a negative because I think it sensationalized a lot of stuff and it made things kind of like conspiracy theories or kind of misinformation kind of go rampant. And um, I had to filter out a lot more too, just to kind of stay sane and kind of keep my mental health in check. So it, yeah, it, it definitely had a positive and negative effect for sure. Okay. Um, how did going through COVID change the way you think about the past before COVID? I think with that, um, the past before COVID, I think was a very like naive time. And especially going back as an industry worker, I know that I talked to a lot of people that got out of the industry just because of how much there wasn't as much social nets as there needed to be specifically in like the bar and restaurant industry where you know sick pay or pay time off all that kind of stuff was just not available and it still isn't so there's a lot of like needing to unionize an actual conversation of that that i'm seeing happening which is really fucking or really cool um yeah so i think it was a very naive time i think covid kind of like brought a lot of light on things that were needed for sure okay um and then going into the future um how how did going through COVID change the way you think about the future? I think since once again, we're still in it, it's kind of hard to really see and project that of like how optimistic the future is when it comes to COVID. I think for me personally, I'm, I'm very positive like as an individual because now I can prioritize and like look to kind of going um, toward my own stuff, my own goals, because now I'm not working all the time and can devote being a student. But I do think we have a lot to fix as a culture and as a society still. 
and I think like COVID kind of brought that to light. Um, what was the toughest thing during COVID for you? Um, the, the toughest for me would probably be seeing how other people handled it and didn't handle it and kind of the reactions that other people had that wasn't positive or community-based or healthy. I think that was very disheartening. Um, Do you have any examples? Um, just, you know, like a lot of kind of what I was saying earlier, the, the friends that didn't take it seriously or the people who denied it mm -hmm. was a big, big negative for sure. But... Um, and then if you could relive the past two years, what would you do differently, if anything? I don't know if I'd do anything differently. I think we were all living day by day and doing the best we could. Um, I, honestly, for me, I think I got out of it kind of unscathed compared to a lot of people that either got it or really, really lost their jobs and didn't get the benefits they needed to continue and are kind of struggling with like rent or a lot of those like very serious aspects. Um, I think for me personally, probably not making bread. Okay. <laughs> um, well, thank you for sharing your thoughts and your time. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna end this interview in just a minute. But first, um, I gotta tell you, this project is for my history class as part of a collaboration with Stanford University in their Life in Quarantine Global Archive. And if you approve, our interview will be housed online. So we would be um, online content creators, basically. Um, if you do not want this interview shared, it will only go to my professor, um, Holly Piscopo from Sacramento City College and a standard fellow this year. Um, if you'd like to ask any questions, I can give you her contact information. And um, are you comfortable with this being online? Absolutely. Okay, well, thank you again um, for your time, and that's all I have for you. Thank you.